right, so I know a lot of people in the Discord server have been asking how you make a server from the RL Craft mod pack. So I'm just going to show you right here, I have every single thing that you need for it. But I'll do a step by step, or you can just download this and then run it. All you'd have to change is the run bat file. And you just have to set how much RAM you want to add to it, and then it should run. You might have to delete the world file, wherever that's at. I think I already deleted it out of here. But you just delete that and start off on your own. You'd have your own world and everything. But we're going to go step by step. So first I'd recommend creating your own folder. So just call it, I don't know, RL Craft or whatever you want to call it. And then go to Forge 1.12.2 server. And go ahead and go to the Files Minecraft Forge page. And 1.12.2. And I believe the version that they use, just hit show versions, I think they use 12 point, or 2805. So go to this one and hit install or install a Windows, since I think most people use Windows, go ahead and hit that one. Um, I already have it downloaded. So once you have it downloaded, just go to your downloads, and it should be, let's see, right here. So, oh, it's 2 point, or 2803, sorry, not 2805. So go ahead and click it, and it should bring up this Forge Simple Installer, and just install server, and extract it here to your desktop or wherever you want it, to the RL Craft, and open it, and hit OK. So this will extract all the files into there. And then once this is done, while this is loading or whatnot, just go ahead and go to the uh, Java or Java start command for Minecraft server, and then click on the Minecraft Gamepedia. That's probably the best one. And go ahead and go down here to this line where it says at Echo All. I'll put this in the description for ease. Go ahead and copy that, and then we can go in here, create a new text document and double click on it, go ahead and paste that in. And you'll see this says minecraft underscore server dot jar. We don't want to run that, so we're going to rename this to server dot jar. And just rename this in here to server dot jar. And then, so these are the parameters that it runs by. So I have eight gigs on this computer, so I can go ahead and run five gigs for the minimum and six gigs for the maximum. And we're just going to save it. Or, not save it. We're going to have to save as. And then all files. Then save it as run.bat. And then go ahead and exit out of it. So now, you can go ahead and delete this text document. Let's go ahead and run it. And you'll see that it starts loading up. It says 1.12.2. Perfect. And it says fail to load the EULA. So just go ahead and go over here, open it up, change this to true, hit save, and then go ahead and exit out of that, and go ahead and double click run.bat again. So now all your server files should load up, perfectly fine, we're just going to have to wait for it, see everything's loading fine, you're loading all the libraries, and it seems like it is starting up. Okay. So, now that this is loaded for the first time, you get a couple more things. You get your world, you get your mod folder, and you get your config folder. So, that's where his server pack comes in. So, you're going to want to go to SourceForge, uh, or actually just search up RLCraft. And then it's right here in the CurseForge, not SourceForge. And then right here, he has the... RL Craft Server Pack 1.12.2. Click on it and then go ahead and hit download. Of course, I already have it downloaded, so I'll just go to my downloads and you see it right here. So I'll go ahead and drag this out here. So it's a uh, 1.12.2 server pack. And this is all done. So just go ahead and hit stop, type stop. And then you can exit out of that. So then just open up the RL Craft one. And you see this right here. This is the actual folder inside of it. So you can just drag that out to your desktop. Like so. And 
that you can close out of that now that you have this. Go ahead and open this up. I usually drag it side to by side for ease, and I'll go ahead and navigate to my RL Craft folder I made myself. And all you want to do is just take it and just drag it into there. So now you have it all in. You go to your mods folder. Everything's set up. And then you go to your config folder. Everything should be the same there. But we're going to add one more thing. And this isn't required. But if you do add it, you're going to have to change one setting. So you can run it like this and it should work. But if you want to add plugins later on onto your server, you're going to want to go to uh, Sponge Forge uh, 1.12.2. Go ahead and go to Sponge Forge right there and download the recent experimental version, the latest. And go ahead and click download. Even though I already have it downloaded, I guess I just download it again. So once it's downloaded, go ahead and go to your downloads folder. And it should be well, maybe I don't have that downloaded. Oh, I think it's in my other folder. Here we go. Let me just take this and copy it out of my mods folder. So as you can tell, it's already in here for me, so, yep, Sponge Forge right there. So I'm just going to control C to copy it, bring that to my mods, and I'm going to go ahead and paste it in. So you can see now it's in the mods for the RL Craft. So Sponge Forge had a glitch with one of the mods that's installed on here. It's called uh, Foam Fix, I believe. Yes, Foam Fix, this mod right here. So you're going to have to change around one setting for it to work. Go to your config. Go down to foamfix.config and open it with a notepad, notepad++, etc. And then you're going to want to go down to patch chunk serialization. Now I know what you're saying is in this patching the glitch, I, that's what I thought too. But it seems like it leads to crashes because it's fixed but then it's like not fixed still. So you just want to change it to false. This is how, of course, I did mine, and you know, you just go ahead and save it. And now that it's all in there, you can run your server for the first time. So while this loads up, it's going to take a minute, but it should go pretty fast. But I will go ahead and load up my Twitch, which I already had a tutorial on, so just go ahead and click on it. Open and load it, just like such. And then uh, while you're doing this, you're probably going to have to do port forward. Um, I have Xfinity, so my port forward's a little different. But just go ahead and go to your command prompt, just like this. Type in ipconfig. I don't know why it's going so slow, but that's okay. And you can get your IPv4 address and your default gateway. And usually you can just navigate to your default gateway and type in your IPv4 address and it should be good. For Xfinity, I need to go to the Xfinity site and then port forward it with different things and I'm just not going to get into that. So we're just going to keep focused on this and also on this. So I have a dedicated server in my room so I'm going to show you that it does indeed work on a different server before I show you that it works on this one. So I will be back when this finishes and I will let you know how it goes. Alright, so now that I'm back, you can see that I have this done. It got done in 25 seconds, which is pretty good for a server that has so many mods. And once you get this command that says done uh, for help, type help. That's how you'll know it's good. And when you want to connect, I'll go ahead and delete this just for reference. All you do is go to add server and you can type in the IP you found here. Um, oh, and my actual config. So we can go cmd ip config, and it should be right here. So you can either type this in 10.0.0.246, and it'll show up just like that. Or you can go ahead and type in localhost, and it should also pop up. So I kind of have the same thing up here. Since I am on the local network, I can go ahead and put in my IP for my server here. And this is my public IP. So, uh, all you have to do is just go ahead and load onto it. 
and you'll see over here that it loads all my states loads where I'm at and it says that I logged in and this is a perfectly good working Wildcraft server but uh, one last thing I'll show you before I go let me go ahead and close out of this and go ahead and stop the server never force stop the server it could break some of the mods and then you'll have to restart everything which would not be good so just make sure you don't do that and I would also recommend quitting out of the game like you should as it'll uh, increase it won't break the game you don't want that but if you go to let's say you port forward you learn how to port forward I wish I could show you guys but I can't just go ahead and type in what is my IP.com and it'll show you your public IPv4 address and this is the address that you want to give to your friends so they can in join your server so that's the basics of how to set up a RLCraft server it's a pretty lengthy tutorial there's just a few things you have to do in order to get it to work but I think in the end it's worth it and I think that you know it's a good uh, good mod pack to play with your friends so uh, if you did like go ahead and give us a like give us a subscribe and uh, if you want a tutorial of how to use FTP and what you have to do for that I can also do that I just need to know that you guys need that but other than that I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys next time